Today I'm going to demonstrate how to get started with the TDC 150. To configure the TDC 150, we will need to download a couple of apps and files. The first app that we will cover is the GNSS Loader app. This app will be used to activate the accuracy options you purchased with your TDC 150 by using the proof of purchase number or pop-in that was given to you from your Trimble dealer. Through the same app, I will demonstrate how to update the GNSS firmware to the current version available from Trimble's website. The next app we will get is the Space app. This app will import the accuracy file to go with the accuracy option you loaded in the GNSS loader. The apps will be available through the Google Play Store, but the firmware and accuracy files will need to be downloaded from Trimble's website. We'll start with the GNSS loader here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to search, open up the Google Play Store, and then we'll just search for Trimble GNSS loader. Once we find it, we'll go ahead and tap on it, and then we'll choose the option to install. After that's finished installing, we'll go back to the search, and then we'll search for Trimble Space App. We'll go ahead and tap on the Space App from Trimble, and then click the install again. Now that both those are installed, we'll go ahead and exit the Play Store. Now we're going to open up an internet browser, and we're going to go ahead and just search for Trimble TDC 150. From here we'll see the Trimble website for the 150, and we'll go ahead and open that web page. Then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the Downloads section. And we're going to click on the Downloads hyperlink. From here we've got a couple of different options to download. You'll see the first one is the firmware, so we're going to tap on it. And then we'll get the latest firmware, which is the 369. And then we're going to tap on hold, and then we're just going to choose the download link. And it's going to download the actual firmware file. Next you can see the application. So they do have the space and the GNSS loader APKs here, but we're going to skip that and then we'll go to the configuration file. So let's discuss your accuracy options for the TDC-150. This device comes with four different options, either meter, submeter, decimeter, and centimeter. The meter option will have no accuracy pop-in or file and will be how the unit is configured from the factory. The other three options are purchased options. The submeter will be go with the 3030 file here. The decimeter will be the 720, and the centimeter will be the CM file. You will need to download the correct file for your accuracy level or else it's not going to work properly. So I have the submeter, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the 3030 file. So once again, I'll tap and hold on it and then choose the download link to download the file. Now I'm ready to actually go through the install process. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the GNSS Loader app. If I want to check my firmware, I can click the About option. So you can see the firmware version here is or 367. We downloaded a 369 version from Trimble's website. So if we go to the upgrade firmware op option, we'll see that file available to install. So we'll just tap on it and it'll go ahead and start the install process. Once the firmware update is complete, we should get a message saying that it was upgraded successfully and we can tap OK. Now we'll go back to the main screen for the GNSS loader and if we tap about again, you can see that the firmware version has updated from the 3.67 to the 3.69, so it's now updated. So now we're going to go ahead and do the accuracy option. So here we'll click install accuracy option. 
we're going to click the Add button, and then we'll enter our proof of purchase or pop-in number here. Once it's entered, we'll go ahead and click the Install. Once it's activated, you'll get a message that it was successfully installed, and you can hit OK. And you can see in the background here, it'll show my 3030 permanent, which is my submeter activation subscription. So one step we will need to do is we'll go into the Android settings to activate the developer options for the mock location. So we'll hit our menu, and then we'll tap on the settings gear. Then we're going to scroll down to the About Phone section. And then you'll see the build number. So we're going to tap on that build number seven times. And then you'll get a message that you are now a developer. So now we're going to go into the Space app to activate the file and the mock locationing. So we're going to accept the terms, and then we're going to allow it full use of the device. And you'll see the first message we get here is the mock location setting that we just turned on. So it's going to take us into those developer options we just activated. And then we're going to select a mock location app, and we're going to point it to the Space app. So now we'll go back to the Space app, and we'll go into the settings. And you'll see there's a configuration file option. So it shows the one that we already have downloaded in our downloads folder. So we'll go ahead and just double tap on it and it should load. And then we'll get the message that it was successfully received and that it stored that file into the log. And our TDC 150 is now set up.